Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer, and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Virgo. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Virgo. For those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to the channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. Thank you so much for your subscription, your love, and your support. I am available for readings at this time, so check out my description box below on all the information on how to book a reading with me. I do have a very short window that I am available to do that, so book soon. Also, if you haven't already, please like, share, and Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. All right, let's create an opening. We do have this accomplished card. It says, what do I want to accomplish? So let's ask our guides on what do you need to accomplish? Said ambassadors, angels, and guides, those who have crossed over, please guide us to the highest and best messages for the sign of Virgo. I want to thank my angels for showing up and allowing their presence to allow me to receive the messages of that higher guidance intuitively so that I can bring those important, important messages your way. All right. Please and thank you. Blessed be. Blessed be. It is done. It is done. It is done. And so it is. All right. So we have a lot of cards that popped out right away. So let's get into it. All right, so what do you want to accomplish? Composure. I think in the past, maybe there were some times where you couldn't keep your anxiety down. And so, you know, at this time, I think this is a lot of self-development. I think this is a lot of you containing yourself and allowing yourself to be in a space where you're like, you know, I'm going to pick and choose my battles correctly. I'm going to keep my composure now. I'm going to accomplish the things that I need to without losing you know, my mind. So I think it's really important at this time that you do that because it's going to create this peace and harmony, this resolution within. And I think that that's where you need to be. I think Virgo, you've been taking on way too much and now it's time for you to re resolve the past, accomplish what you need to so that you can create that harmony that you really, really want right now at this, at this time in your life. So it's time for you to start expecting miracles because as you accomplish things, miracles are going to start popping in all these opportunities and all these beautiful avenues of healing and connection are all just going to start flowing through your life. There are signs and reminders if you guys are outside looking at nature some of the angels uh, are bringing in some animals or even you know butterflies or feathers whatever the case may be but the signs are all over the place even if they're bringing them in with you know like number sequences like 222 333 11 11 12 12 12 22 look those numbers up they're synchronicities and they are signs and reminders to help you and guide you to accomplish what you really want to accomplish. Now there is some power and intention behind your thoughts right now and you are in a place where you want to have more. You know, I think you're working really, really hard to, you know, connect with others, create, you know, some friendships and maybe some good clientele to help support your success divine timings at work here for you Virgo and they are allowing you to accomplish all those heart desires they're allowing you to be in that high abundance prosperous energy so that you can accomplish what you want to you do have the courage and bravery to be in that energy you are strong enough to get the job done and I think that in the past maybe that wasn't the case maybe people were trying to say hey you you don't know what you're doing and you're like well okay fine expressing your courage and bravery in that space and not listening to other people's judgment is going to create some joy and contentment in your life so that you won't have those blocks and you can just get to the goal right and that's also going to allow you to create some vulnerability and some freedom from those judgments okay all right, so let's get into some more cards here and get some 
Let's clarify some cards here. Um, let's see. Ascended Masters, Angels and Guides, please clarify some messages for the sign of Virgo. Ooh, they're all popping out. Please and thank you. All right, so in the past, like I said, somebody was shaming you. They were judgmental, and maybe they didn't think you could do the job the right way. And so there's a lot of shame from the past, maybe from a partner that said, hey, you know, you're not able to do that well in business like I do. So whatever the case may be, you decided that you were going to prioritize your life and you were going to start teaching yourself to love yourself better and to prioritize yourself and making yourself first to get out of that shameful energy. Master teacher is at play here to help facilitate that energy for you. Exercising some self-control. You know, maybe when that person was saying all that stuff and judging you are just like, oh my gosh, you don't even know me. I am capable of so much more. So even, you know, I think even when there's a place where we're like, I need to defend myself, don't defend yourself. You don't need to validate yourself or explain yourself to anyone, Virgo. Exercise that self-control. All right. So right now it's important for you to get in check with your physical body. I feel like you need to change your lifestyle, maybe start eating better exercise or really, you know, tuning into your mental thoughts. What are you thinking about? Because that's going to be, you know, really, really, it might block you if you're, if you're thinking the wrong thoughts. So I want you to be able to accomplish that and doing that in your physical body is just kind of taking care of yourself in the best way so that when you do accomplish and you get in your your place of succeeding, it's not going to feel so trying and you're not going to have to go revamp your body uh, in that place. You're already going to be, you know, on schedule. So life force situation comes in with Aphrodite and brings in some divine partnership. For those of you in a current partnership, well, you guys are making your way towards a happier life together. Uh, for those of you that are cross watcher who's ever tuning in male female um, know that you know there's a lot of love that is permeating in this situation right now and for those of you that are single virgos love is coming in because we got a new beginning here the divine father is bringing in that energy to support your heart's desire and this is going to allow you to you know create some grace and harmony in your life we're going to see happiness and joy prevail all right, so let's get into some more cards here. And I think, too, you know, when we are in a space of, of accomplishing things, I think sometimes there's some namesayers that don't want you to succeed. And, you know, whatever. They don't want you to succeed because they're jealous. So just disregard be in a neutral space and know that there is good coming towards you. You are rebuilding your life from the ground up right now, Virgo. It's okay to be thinking the things that you are. It's okay to separate yourself from certain people because that's how you become successful. You accomplish things by pulling away the toxic and bringing in the new positivity. You are creating in your solar plexus chakra. That is our creative energy in our stomach. And, you know, that is going to help push you to the next level. You're going to be creating things that you're like, wow, I never thought I could do this, but I can. And so I think that you're seeking out all your good jujus. And, you know, Virgo, it's only going to get sweeter from here, really. So I want you to pull yourself out of the helpless and hopeless and you know see that things are blossoming for you in a beautiful way and they're just going to continue to do that as you accomplish all of your heart's desire things now you know that part of this process is detaching from the energy of the past so for you know like i said that person that wanted to hold you back from accomplishing the things that you want to well you got to detach yourself from that negative energy and implement some love in there and even though you know you're like wow i can't believe they said that you still need to be in a space of like you know what i still love them from afar okay 
So that will help you to be in a place of success and growth and harmony and happiness. You know, um, I think that it has taught you a lesson about your life. All these situations, all these experiences have really helped you grow and they've taught you things that you needed to learn. So now you can embrace the, the grandioseness of your life and, you know, embracing that power, embracing the divine within is going to get you to the next level and you're going to be solid in that success. It's just you got to be in a place of receiving and I think in the past you were giving, giving, giving and so that's why all this stuff transpired. Now you're in a place of receiving. Let's see what kind of love we're receiving here. All right, oh, Virgo, life can't get any sweeter, right? Especially when you're in a good headspace. You know, you guys are earth signs and, you know, you're constantly looking for that balance. It says, be beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So again, like I said, it's, wishing them good from afar and you know being in a place of gratitude give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires and i keep reiterating this to you you know because we do have some twin flame action going on here for you single virgos out there we got some twin flame love in coming so i think that that's positive uh, for you at this time but you know also you got to take a step back and spend some time alone and you know don't focus on others give yourself some time to you know plan and and do the things that you need to do because you are sitting in your power you are you're sitting in your power right now you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time so you know, like I said, for those of you in a current partnership, it's just going to get sweeter. For those of you that aren't, well, only time will tell, okay? When you exercise self-love and you love yourself, you have the ability to love others. All that positive energy, all that stuff manifests quickly into your life and you're like surprised. So Virgos, if you guys want to go into a more personal reading all my information is down there in that description box below on how to book a reading with me. I love you, Virgo, and I'm here to support you in the highest and best. Make sure you guys, before you leave, to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. I love you, Virgo. Check out the sound healings to pull out those blocks so you can accomplish what you need to. Namaste.